Hey guys, in this video I would like to talk about Table View and uh, one of the functionality with Table View is the swipe action. So when you swipe your row or a cell, you iOS UI kit provides you functionality that you can perform certain actions on the row. You can, uh, you can, for example, you can delete the row or you can add it the um, the row itself and the context of the row and uh, um, perform like other actions maybe uh, present a view controller or a view that you would like to present and uh, things like that so uh, if you're new to my channel my name is Eugene welcome to my channel and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so you get notifications every time i post a new video so let's jump into coding and let's jump into table view controller and uh, a new way to do a swipe action for ios so if you've been around uh, UI kit and iOS for a while and uh, like let's say it is our table view and by the way if you want to follow along I will provide a link to this um, video and uh, you can uh, download the initial state of the project if you want to follow follow along with me and code along with me and I'm also gonna provide the final result the final code if you just want to look at the code and uh, like copy or take that code and modify it as you like so whatever is more convenient for you feel free I will provide the links in the description for this video so uh, like I said if you've been around uh, uh, UI um, kit and um, uh, iOS development for a while well, if you want to provide like certain actions uh, for your um, table view uh, one of the uh, one of the things that you can pr uh, that you can provide is uh, a edit actions edit actions uh, yeah like this method edit actions uh, for row at however you will receive this message that you are uh, UI table view row action was deprecated in iOS 13 so now if you want to uh, build your application and utilize a uh, table view controller or table view you will need to use uh, as it says UI contextual action API so technically technically you still can use this API but it was deprecated and I strongly encourage you to um, go with, with a new way that Apple's um, suggest you to go and I'm gonna show you how so for that uh, type uh, trailing tra uh, trailing swipe action configuration for row app so this is the thing uh, you can provide um, configuration for trailing action and for leading action as well so if you uh, say here uh, lead, leading swipe action you can also uh, you can also provide that those actions for leading um, um, side of, of, of your uh, view control or of your view so user can swipe left and swipe right and perform different action so uh, for this video, um, uh, I will focus just on the trailing swipe action configuration because the uh, approach is the same and the uh, code is almost like pretty much almost the same. Um, what you need to do, like before you can implement this action, uh, I, I will strongly recommend you to provide. Um, methods that 
would provide actions for for the swipe actions for the swipe configuration so let's do that like uh, private func and delete delete and uh, uh, we need our index path so we know which row we have to delete all right uh, so um, um, let's say um, uh, row index path add index path and the type of index path and we're going to return UI contact con, uh, con contextual action so for this one we're gonna say let create a variable inside of our method and say action and action is going to be UI con textual action so and the rest is pretty much similar to a UI table view row action so you can select style so uh, you can select destructive or normal so if you want to uh, provide the red button or red background for your action I would say destructive and string will be delete and um, and handler uh, for handler you can um, uh, you can utilize action uh, you can specify view and you can specify like closure that is uh, that uh, that it takes boolean so um, we're not really going to you don't have to use those parameters in this um, in this closure you can just provide your code for this I will just leave them blank and I'm going to say that uh, table view delete rows at and I need to provide an array of index path and luckily we have index path here and I said I'm gonna say index path and with a style uh, let's do it automatic and our action um, our action needs to uh, return um, UI contextual action and which is gonna say return action and we need we need self here so um, because it is a closure um, I strongly suggest weak self uh, gar let self equals self else return so um, let me explain a little, a little bit uh, in the closure like I strongly suggest provide weak self so we don't have retention cycle and if you don't want to put your like question marks um, after yourself and just utilize self that and then like your uh, method uh, you can do guard let self equal self else return and that you uh, and uh, you, you you can utilize just um, self that with that question mark just just a little just a little trick that you can use for um, for uh, your closures and weak self so this is our delete action and after we delete rows I want to say self uh, table view uh, reload data so let's say we deal with API. We're not dealing with API, but like we delete, we delete table, we delete rows. Like I want to, I, I want to reload data for uh, this table view, but not exactly necessary. So and as our delete action, and then let's do a private func edit action. Um, the same. 
um, index path equals uh, index path and we're also going to return uh, UI contextual action boom and uh, let action equals UI um, con okay. contextual act where did you go contextual action and uh, style for this style will be normal and title will be edit and for uh, for the handler which is gonna present a simple alert so let um, a uh, alert equals UI alert controller with a constructor title do you want to edit you could could do so when we Im implement this from we can we, you can do this when you uh, when we implement this functionality and uh, presentation style is going to be an alert and then we're going to say alert uh, action UI UI alert action and string will be uh, title will be okay style will be default and we don't really care about the handler and then we're gonna say present alert animated true and return action uh, and yes self and in for uh, for this closure we're gonna do uh, self so and see like it's asking us to do like question mark so for this we can just do question mark so your choice really and uh, let's do let um edit edit equals self edit index path uh, and uh, let delete equals self delete index path um, and return um, okay uh, so uh, um, let swipe equals new uh, eyes wipe configuration UI swipe configuration and we're gonna say delete and edit and return swipe so let's build and run and see if everything if if all is good if all is well then we're gonna see our actions so alert do you want to edit we have a message beautiful and this one thing that i will i would like to show you so if we delete the row right now our application will crash because um on our application when we specify how many rows uh, how many rows we gonna return we say three so um what I'm going to do um, like here like 
here right before the, the delete, I'm going to say var uh, number of rows. And I'm going to say 3. And here, I'm going to return number of rows. And uh, before we delete, before we delete, I'm going to say self number of rows minus minus uh, equal one. So I'm going to I'm going to um, I'm going to subtract one. So uh, the amount of rows we return will consistent and we can change it dynamically as we delete rows. So our, our application won't crash. That's a little trick that I learned as I was preparing for this video. So now we can delete rows. We can uh, edit it and like get our message and we can also delete that. So I hope it was useful and I hope you learned something. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you will use this new API. I. I actually kind of like it. I like it a little bit better than UI table view row action because you have a little bit more flexibility and you can add a little bit more complexity if you need to. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.